playroom is finally done. A lot has happened since the last time I turned on the camera, so I'm gonna, I want to show you around a little bit. But first, if you're new here, this room that we're in, right here, it didn't exist a year ago at all. And uh, it's in the attic of my house. So let's go back to the beginning. We'll do a quick run through of all that has happened to make this vision a reality. You're watching Team Han Vlog, I'm Josh, and today we are starting the first video of probably a bunch of videos on converting our attic into a giant playroom. Let me show you where this is going and kind of why we're doing this. So basically, we're gonna be going up these stairs here, and if you go to the right, there's a bedroom. To the left, there is a big open space. I don't know if we'll be able to see it in here, Oh yeah, you can, kinda. So, there's room for a 16 by 24 foot room, roughly. Now the reason we're doing this is this house is just a two bedroom, uh, two bath house, which is totally fine, but there's not like room for the kids' toys. So right now, the kids, they have their playroom in the garage. And I'm warning you right now, it is an absolute disaster. Because uh, they didn't pick up from their last playing. And it just kind of like migrates over to the garage gym, um, which is not cool. And then plus, like this isn't an ideal situation for the kids. And we'd like, you know, to be able to park in here. Everything that's gonna last needs to start with a firm foundation. So we've gotta put in some posts and beams to hold up since we're gonna be cutting out a ton of structural members up in the trusses. And so today we're going to lay out where the footings go to hold up them posts. It is pour day. Got the mixer set up. Brought the muscles. We got backup coming. Forms look pretty good. Got the rebar in there. Um, that one was a pain in the butt underneath the furnace because I had to chip out all the dirt with a. I'm just gonna set up a GoPro and uh, I'm gonna try to bust this out before I got to go to work tonight. doesn't freak you out then you might want to check your pulse it's a little wild looking in there but I got my few notes I need right here on these wires so it's actually not as bad as it looks it just looks like a lot so I'm gonna start pulling these wires out dropping them down in the new holes hopefully we get this thing all back together sweet all back together the wires ran on this side Got the five two by fours put in there. So, um, yeah, not too bad. This was another fun electrical box to take care of, but we got it. Now upstairs, that's where it's exciting. Got the hole cut in from the hallway here. Uh, had to add two two by sixes to each one of these top cords here. Got my blocking there. That's where the beam's gonna set 
So that's right above that post we put in the wall. All right, this thing is really coming together, moving right along. So got uh, the first half of them in. All right, got them all in. Got the insulation all put back in there. Got my first piece of plywood cut. It's starting to look like something now. All right, we're in a pretty good spot here, I think. Got this wall built. So on the next video, we're gonna start building the floor out into the main part of the room. So I'll have to get that beam put over there. I got uh, the posts in this wall. I had to get five two by fours um, on the end of this wall. Got it all lined up upstairs. I'll show, the, show you that in a second. Now the kitchen, we're really making it look good for the holidays with these temporary braces. Oh yeah, that's gonna be nice, but it is what it is. We had to hold up the ceiling. There's a lot of load that was gonna be over here that now is all gonna be right here. All right, got a little carried away yesterday and didn't get the camera out. Got the beam in over there and uh, got some of the joist hangers on. Um, walk over there now on this guy. Didn't even cut the beam, I just ran it long in there and then cut those members out. I have to run a two by six with a bird's mouth cut from there up to where that splice joint is. And then I will attach these to the side of that two by six. Not a lot of floor, but we'll get some framed in there and start being able to cut these braces out, which will be really cool. I got a back injury. I'm out on L and I for a little bit. That's why I'm only in charge of the camera. I really hope you add like some sound effects or something. <laughs> hey, pups. Simmer down. You don't use a ladder? What? Oh my god, stop! Hey! Angus! I feel like this is totally OSHA. I think this is how they do it. How long are these? 18. Oh. Ready? Yeah. You got it? We'll see what Baby down. Baby down. Baby down. <laughs> I'm glad you've left the uh, decorations intact on the door there. I think you can do it from here. Okay, but my concern is if you like literally start to almost take me out. I'm not is there, gonna take you is out. there a code word? Maybe. Stop. <laughs> and don't knock down those streamers. You got, okay, I'm gonna go under. We should get a lot more fish. Yeah. Yeah, I should have filmed the first one versus the second one. <laughs> Perfect. I forget to get the camera out on this project. I'm just trying to 
Get it done? Yeah. This is the coolest part. I mean, it looks I mean, rather it, cool. Yeah, I'm good. Connor, you okay? Yep. <laughs> this is significantly <laughs> easier getting it in than it was last time. Did we go through here last time? Yeah. Where do you stand? That's the kicker. <laughs> you can get it on that beam. No, Are we good? Yep. Uh oh. I fear something here for Stefan. <laughs> okay, I got it. Okay. Gosh. Okay. You're going to pinch your fingers. That's all the angle you got. Gosh. Okay. Hold up, hold up. Okay, I got it. You can even set it down on that. Yep, I can. Just, just let it rest on that. Uh, yep, okay. I can't really get I'm over there, so I can't really here. see anything. Good. I don't think I should walk across that. All right. Oh, man. Oh. Fat body and tight pants. <laughs> <laughs> That's some real good joint work right there. Why don't you get that on video? Yeah. I can't do anything. I'm stuck I'm over here on my platform. Why didn't you cut out all these tall ones? You yeah, need... That's the wall of the room. Oh. <laughs> I see. You gotta set it down. You're good. Um, I think I'm gonna sweep it. Okay. 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 Let me know if you're gonna set it down. Oh, we're almost there, another inch, okay, okay. and we'll be through. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get out of this. You might be able to set it down if Conrad's got it. I got it, it. yep. Yeah. There we go. I gotta get out of this hole. We oh, got gosh. a little bit of a tricky situation over here because the, this other beam is in the center of my bracket. Oh. Ready? Yeah. Today, the rest of today, I'm going to knock out all the temporary supports because they can come out and uh, get this place cleaned up. All that mess is from our new puppy. He likes to destroy everything. Um, but yeah, it'll be nice to get these out of the way so I don't run into them at night when it's dark. <sighs> yeah, mister. Tearing stuff up. Why are you doing that, huh? All right. Got all the insulation in. Snapped the line here at 48 and a quarter inches from the wall. Uh, I give myself a quarter inch just in case that wall's not straight. So got plenty of room to uh, move that ply plywood around. Let's finally get this plywood down. It's only 12 sheets. Shouldn't take too long. Got a little bit of cutting, but gosh, this is probably... One of the most exciting parts of the project, so we can actually have a floor to walk on up here.
All right, check it out. We've got a floor. Oh my gosh. This room, it's just, it's big. Get a shop from this side. All right, um, just want to show you a few things before uh, I get going here this morning. Um, I've got the king studs put in for the window. We're going to do an eight foot by four foot window right here. So king stud, I have to go get a few more two by sixes because I didn't think about using two by sixes for trimmers and that's what I want to do. But I did get the header built. so. Uh, two by eights, two of them together with the two by six top and bottom for the header. Probably overkill because this is really just holding drywall. I mean, that truss up there should hold itself, so there's not really any pressure on it. But we went big anyway. Um, and uh, got a buddy coming over here in just a few minutes. Help me get all these two by sixes because every one of these uh, needs. An extra two by six on them, so he's gonna help me with that. Um, so probably won't film that just to be respectful of his time. Um, but man, uh, big push to get this thing ready for framing inspection. Hopefully, middle of next week. Framing inspection has passed. Got this exterior wall framed. Got all of the closet framing for the built-ins. So now I can put insulation on this back wall. Both sides. And we're waiting for the electrical inspection. So that's the next thing. All the wiring's in. Uh, you can see all the lights are on. Um, all the outlets wired up. Whew. Forgot that I loaned this thing out and we had the wrong hose end on it. So if that fixed up, we're ready to spray. I'm gonna do a little test spray on this plastic Ooh. because we wanna make sure that we got the right pattern before we blow it on the wall. There it is. This is my favorite part of doing insulation right here. It gets huge! sheets when they're full, uh, 105 pounds a piece, so uh, make sure you ate your Wheaties.
looking pretty good around here. So got a few pieces at the end of the closets to do and uh, some kind of strips here to back up the trim, but pretty much done. moved in already looks like a chaotic toy room but the girls are loving it we're loving it uh yeah already chaos so nice to have this done and have a great place for the girls to play and hang out the tv couch was quite the chore getting up here lots of storage it's great so if you have any questions about the process leave them in the comments below and uh yeah Thanks for watching. See you next time.